thinking about it. I'm holding my breath. Do it. Oh. Oh. Did we get him? <gasps> Happy holidays, everybody. Bo here from BZ Hub. Wanted to put out a video because I know it's been a long time and people have been asking questions, so we thought we would uh, just go ahead and put it all out there. First off, gonna have my first encounter with a level 5 uh, Mouflon in Quattro Colinas. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, love the big horns. They are amazing. Um, we'll get into that and then after that video um, it's it just a personal message from me to all of you, uh, everyone, subscribers, uh, part of the hub, the BZ hub. Um, I appreciate all of you and if, um, if that interests you at all um, follow up at the end, but if not, enjoy the video of the move lawn, and, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> All right, everyone. You see this move on here stuck, but really what it is is a sign of move lawn in the area. And if I can get out of this little crevice here, <laughs> golly, get out. We can continue on our hunt because of this little herd of mouflon that this stuck buddy here is a part of. There's a level 5. Which I believe is the max level for a mouflon. So I'm pretty excited. It's going to be my first chance at a diamond in Quattro Colinas. See where he's running off to. Looks like he's going back over the hill there go through this bush and can't see anything. I have a feeling that the goats are better climbers than we're going to be. We'll just keep a lookout on these, uh, very fresh. I'd say it was just here. Well, there's our, there's our mouflon. There's a second mouflon and a third. So it looks like they've gone over this hill here, but um, they're all aware of me <laughs> as they struggle over that hill. Looks like they've uh, made it over the hill there and they're kind of traveling. So far only the small ones are what I see, but amidst all of these is a level five somewhere. If you're wondering what I think about this new map, I I just love it. I think it's uh, I think it's it's amazing. Um, I love the terrain. Um, I love the the environment. Really, just the build of the entire area. I mean, look where I am right now. I'm way up here on a hill, and you can tell it's it's like this in other areas as we look off in the distance. You can just get up in a high elevation like this. And there's plenty of foliage like around us and there's plenty of trees and bushes and everything but I mean there's so many lanes to uh, hunt these animals I, I compare it to Rohanga how you can just kind of sit in one spot and see you know everywhere it, it's just a type of hunting I really am enjoying at the moment there's a three just standing there what up homie <laughs> Would have been cool to have him standing up there straight. We'll have to get a little closer. I was hoping to get up here, but I don't know if it's going to let me. Oh, it is. Okay. Guess we're sprinting. Need that uh, climbing equipment for Val de Bois. Or however you pronounce it, if I pronounce that wrong. Forgive me. Oh, here's a move on. Oh, boy. Ha ha ha. There are some issues with the goats, but honestly, it's laughable at this point. I haven't found anything uh, game-ending so far. Let's see if we can look down here and see our mouflon. Yeah, there's one of them. There's a four. <laughs> Pretty nice looking animal there. So three.
we'll just kind of chill out for a little bit, see if we can find that five walking by. There he is. That is him. Got a good wind. Not sure. I haven't had good luck with brain shots with the goats, so I might stay away from that. But a good broadside shot would be great. Oh, about had it right there, too. He's a big one. Oh. Oh, Jordy boy. That's the name of my Mufon. I just named him. This Mufon's name is Jordy. Oh, Jordy. Stop spinning around. You're worrying me, bro. We're getting so close. <laughs> he just keeps quartering away every time. Just turn just a tiny bit, Jordy. Oh, God. You are just playing with me, man. Oh, if he just stops. I don't want to take a running or a walking shot on him. Stop. Stop, Jordy. Stop, Jordy. Stop. I whistled at him, now he's turning around. But at least we'll get a second try, I guess. <laughs> You're thinking about it. I'm holding my breath. Do it. Oh. Oh, did we get him? <gasps> we did get him. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I so thought I pulled that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so lucky. I, I'm really interested to see what we did there. Where we shot him. Oh my god. I saw the body just kind of go, and then I jerked to the left a little bit, and I thought, no. I just missed the lungs by that much. But look at him. Oh my god. Honestly, have no idea if this is like a, a good one or not. I mean, his horns are really big, so I would hope so, but who knows? Who knows? There's our pick. I don't think we're going to do much better for a picture. Let's go. Fingers crossed, everyone. Oh! Ended up being a gold. Look at that shot, though. My God. 6.5. 6 6.5 6 through the flesh, intestine, stomach, liver, left lung. Oh, my goodness. Certainly got a lot of stuff there. <laughs> The 6.5 doing some work on the first level 5 mouflon we found. Gosh, unfortunate it's not a diamond, but still a great find and I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm going to have to take a screenshot here. Just cuz just cuz you can't can't skip out on that. Definitely still taxidermizing it for sure. I want those horns. I'm, I'm I got my Hirschfeld and Quattro Colinas lodge I'm building here. Um, and I can't skip out on something like that. My goodness gracious. Such a cool find. Quattro Colinas. I, I love this place. Goodness gracious, goats. Calm yourselves. I'm trying to make an outro here. Um, plenty of goats. You know, if you like Verhonga, if you like how open it is, and how, I mean, just look from this vantage point. We can see things from way over there, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through here, and it just keeps on going, and you can just go up on a hill like this, and you can see how the map is set up. I mean, it's set up around these four hills. That's where the Quattro Colinas comes from, the four hills and everything. So, yeah, it's just, I'm really enjoying this map. If you haven't tried it out, go ahead, spend the spend the six seven eight dollars whatever it is um it's worth it's worth a go for sure i love this map 
Um, I'm really having a good time with it, if you can't tell by my uh, sputtering of words, but yeah. Having a great time. Um, I've been loving the horned animals, um, just like I love the horned animals in Verhanga. But uh, yeah, that's just my take. Go ahead and try it for yourself, or comment down below how you're liking it. Um, I'm eager to hear what you're all thinking like so that's um, my first level 5 mouflon I found in Quattro Colinas pretty cool um, great hunt I love hunting in these hills as you can tell from um, my endless talking about it now to just kind of go on to a personal note um, stuff I'm dealing with um, as you might have known if you've been here since the very beginning uh, I'm a product designer I design um, products for companies I was working for a prototyping company for a very long time, um, all client-based, people who have ideas come to us, they give us a brief um, rundown of what it is, maybe they have patents or something like that, and I draw it up, um, come up with a basic understanding of it and give it to engineers. Um, it's a little different than kind of stuff um, we would have done for like Hallmark or Timberland or, or something like that. Um, certainly Bayer Pharmaceuticals, it's way different than something like that. Um, but it was enjoyable work and I was having a good time doing it. I did it for two and a half years and um, I was coming into a point where I was wondering what to do. I thought that I could just kind of continue doing it. I was working from home. I was having a good time doing that and I could just finish my work at home and then I could just transfer into doing um, my work for YouTube videos and uh, hunting and all that. It was a good time. I really enjoyed it and I really enjoy the whole community surrounding the hunter. Um, it's just been a great experience. Um, I even made a project on my portfolio about the whole experience just because we have to make all these graphics and the videos and the thumbnails and all this stuff that you put into making YouTube videos. It's it's almost a project itself. It's, it's like owning your own company. And as it gets bigger, I'm, I'm sure it just feels more so um, like that. And so I've kind of enjoyed it a lot. As you can hear Bjorn in the background starting to bark here. Um, but, uh, you know, two and a half years with this company and um, it just the company just kind of started moving in a direction where um, they wanted to do only a set amount of projects and we reached that set amount of projects and I had done my design work for all of them um, 65 of them we were gonna do at a single time and uh, I had done all my design work for those projects and they were stuck in engineering um, and so basically I was just kind of sitting around waiting for new projects, but we couldn't take on any more projects because they had 65 projects, which was the max, um, all being worked on in engineering. So um, they took me off um, full pay, put me on independent um, contracting. And so uh, I'm only working like eight hours a week, which isn't enough to live on. And so I have to uh, pretty much change everything that I'm doing and um, stop working on YouTube, stop playing games. Um, as you can see, I, I have found a few evenings where I just said, you know, I just need to, I just need to play this new map. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but otherwise, I'm working on portfolios. I'm working on the eight hours of work. I'm trying to find part-time um, jobs in the meantime just to uh, do something while I'm looking um, for a new full-time salary job. And to get those new jobs, I have to update my portfolio. So that means new projects. I'm working on new projects as well um, to update my portfolio. You know, maybe if you're looking for a new job, you have to maybe update your resume and then just apply to everything. But in the design world, you have to have physical representations of the work you've done. And uh, when you worked on prototyping like I have, all these clients have these ideas that they don't want anyone to steal, so they're all under NDA and I can't show them off until they reach the market anyway. So I have worked for this company for two and a half years and I honestly have nothing to show for it because only a handful of them have reached the market. And um, yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. But uh, I realized this was a lot to, to go over. I just wanted to put it all out there, let you all know um, kind of what's going on in my life. I don't have as much time to work on YouTube videos as I used to, um, at least until I find a new job and life can kind of go back into the normal spin of things. But, you know, it's just it's it's the whole product design world, I suppose. Um, I always tell kids if you're interested in art, um, you know, in high school and you're just thinking, oh, everyone says, 
you're just going to be a, a starving artist on the street or something like that or just skimming by. I always say, you know, design, graphic design, product design is a great way to go into it. Um, and, and it's one of those things where when I was in school, I didn't even know it was a thing. And so um, if you're interested in art, if you're interested in, in making posters and, and maybe working for the newspaper or something in, uh, in high school, definitely look into um, industrial design or graphic design, something like that. It's, it's a great way to go about it. And even though, you know, I'm in this position, it was after two and a half years of work and I've had two interviews in a week's time. Um, I mean, it, it, there's, a, there's a lot of work and it's just trying to find out where you fit in. And uh, I mean, these two interviews were done with my old portfolio that I made two and a half years ago. So um, it's just, it's a whole world of things. And I, I just have to say, if you're interested in art, you know, give it a try. Um, it's, it's worth it if it's what you love to do and it's what I love to do. And I like doing YouTube as well. So anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I just, um, I thank you all for watching all of my videos up to this point. I really am looking forward to the day I have a new job here in the few next few weeks or something like that. And I can kind of get back into uh, hunting and posting new videos and whatnot. I love making the videos and I love chatting with all of you. And I'm still, you know, on the Facebook Hunter Call of the Wild international Facebook page um, hosted by Zaggy. And um, I'm still, you know, showing off uh, or, or commenting on people's pictures and I still post on my Instagram um, so if you want to check out the Instagram that's a good place to see sort of uh, things in the meantime but um, yeah until then a um, lot of work for me to do and I'm looking forward to getting back into the spin of things and, and posting more videos so um, yeah I never had a thousand subscriber video um, and I said, you know, maybe I'll do one at 1500, but I mean, we're in the 1300s right now and starting out, I never knew that this would ever happen. And so seriously, you know, you watch videos of people thanking people, you know, thanking their subscribers. And I always thought that's such a st stupid thing. Like it's such a generic deal just to say, oh, thank you so much for everything you do. But seriously, it's, um, without everyone commenting on videos and liking them and watching them, um, I mean, it's a ton of work. I've made 80 some videos right now in my first year and that's not even a lot. And, um, and I, I don't think I ever would have made it this far if it wasn't for people like Zaggy, um, wasn't for people on my Twitch streams, um, and people who comment in my videos, you know, telling me how much they're enjoying them. I would have never made it this far. Um, it's just way too much work without the motivation from everyone watching. So, um, seriously, thank you to anyone who's watched this video this far. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I'm talking a long time. So anyway, that's it. Um, like and subscribe. Obviously, <laughs> most of you, if you've watched it this far, you probably already are. So um, I thank you again. Uh, happy holidays if I don't put out a new video before the end of the of the month. Um, and yeah, that's it, everyone. As always, keep hunting. Never stop.